eye gougers and street crawlers. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're miserable. I hope every last one of you is miserable. For sure. Oh, please be miserable. Help me out and be miserable. Y'all, mama. Oh, a couple of things make me really angry. Ah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm not happy with the way things are going. Oh, uh, oh, most people aren't happy about it. Mm. <clears throat> if you're a person, you know. I have no sympathy for you whatsoever. Not one bit. Um, I told you already, I'll tell you again. It's about choices. It's all about choices. 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 Okay, choices. About choices, alright? All about the choices. You understand me? You understand the choices that you make, the choices that you accept, and the choices you will be forced to accept. You have to accept or have to make. Yeah, yeah, those, those are things, those are stuff you should worry about. You're not a certain way you choose to be. I don't, I don't believe it. Uh, I know a lot of people that don't believe it. You're not inherently born. You choose to become that, right? Uh, it goes back to that whole thing about being, um, having a, a bagel fetish. You know, or do you have a bagel fetish or a donut fetish? Uh, either way, you choose. You're not born anyway. You choose. Just like you choose to not be that way. It's really easy. It's really simple. I, I promise you. It's it's like being a, you know, an addict for the, uh, what's that thing called? I think they call it, um, oh, I don't know, what do they call it? What do they call it? Do you know what they call it? I think they call it a disease, or, I don't know, it's a fake terminology. Uh, I had it here somewhere. Aha, here we go, here we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's talk about it. Do you see that? It says, let's talk about prescription opioids oh oh sounds like we're choosing to talk about it right let's let's talk about it let's choose to talk about it let's see here prescription opioids come with serious risk including dependency addiction and even death wow how about that it could be death <laughs> I would have never thought of that. <laughs> you know, mm, it gives you a couple of tips here on how to dispose of your medication if you're not going to take them all. Mm, I would have never thought of that. Mm -mm -mm. Of course, I'm a good boy and I take all of my medication. How about you? Mm. Um, what do the kids say? Oh, leave a comment below if you choose to take your whole prescription or do you choose to only take half and leave it for chance or just let me know right and uh while you're at it please don't subscribe to this channel because i don't like none of you in fact i would prefer if you didn't even bother but if you're gonna watch please don't subscribe also the choices you make are incredible. You still, still, you still, you still, <laughs> you're still, you're still here. I don't understand that. I don't understand you, kids. I don't understand you, kids. Do you understand the kids these days? I don't. I don't understand you, kids these days. Um, P.S. I sexually identify as the Holocaust and my pronouns are um, kids and servants and cultures. Yes, that is correct. Yes, sir. That was a question. Or I think that was maybe a threat from a fan? Um, they call themselves a fan, but I can't really tell these days, so you can just uh, hurry up and automate yourself on out of here because I don't care what you think about me. <laughs> What did I tell you? What did I tell you about those choices you make? 
those choices you make. You choose to be a bagel lover. You choose to be a donut lover. You choose to be a drug addict. You choose to be awful. You choose to be, you know, with the exception of maybe one person, but, um, I don't know why you get such a bad rap. It's terrible. It's awful. It's, it's crazy if you ask me. I know you didn't ask me, but, uh, <laughs> how about we talk about it anyways? The man of the hour, maybe the man of the century, was, uh, was pretty incorporated. It had a great, great, great idea for, I don't know, particularly nonsense and, uh, I don't know, maybe overthrowing the particular world. Hmm, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good, but a lot of people disagree. There's a whole bunch of people. There's so many people that disagree. And they don't like what I have to say about being a drug addict. Hmm. Maybe. Ah. Ah, kill ya. Ah. Eat ya. I'm a goat. I'm the goat, and I'll eat ya. <laughs> I'm the goat. I'm the goat. Yes. Yes. You know, back in my day, we used to get flagged down and chased out of the freaking supermarket for posting up inside of the Wally World where a bunch of idiots would sit around the let's call them the lawn chairs the lawn chairs how about that the lawn chairs they're good chairs man most people didn't know about them I remember getting kicked out of there yeah we got kicked out of there we were on LSD and uh I remember over the intercom, it was kind of funny. There was a good the uh, gentleman who please bought the orange juice to leave the store. Hot, hot summer night. You know, it must have been 2000, maybe 99. Uh, I took the amber crystals. Uh, amber crystals as in LSD. Yeah, I said LSD, amber crystals. Very, very potent liquid LSD. Amazing. Very amazing. And... I remember being in the store, and a very, uh, a juvenile delinquent at the time, and a, 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 a soon-to-be, uh, future, uh, Hall of Famer in the prison system, my friend, Mr. Stephen Larson, a very awesome person, um, probably the reason why I mean, uh, we grew up like we did, whew, jeez, this kid used to throw darts at us, man, I mean, Jesus, he was our same age, it was like, you had to defend yourself, it was kind of like, if you didn't, you got your butt kicked, you know, I, I don't know, what kids are doing nowadays and why they're so like just frail little freaking feathers I don't, I don't, I don't know but uh <laughs> anytime you want to go homie i'm not scared of none of you every last one of you dude for sure anytime girl anytime man boy you see my boys over there they're ready to come in here so anytime you want to go um, anyways we got kicked out of the store for being on lsd and hanging out in the summer aisle, let's call it the summer aisle, with all the lawn chairs and the fans and everything blowing, it was great. But over the intercom, it told us to leave and it freaked us out because we knew that they knew that we knew that they knew. Just like all you <whistles> blowers and tellers, hoo 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 hoo, anytime, anytime, I'm here, anytime, girl, I got time on my side. Anytime you want to go, we got you, baby girl. So, back to those choices. We chose to be on those LSDs. We chose to be in that store. We chose to be really awful people, okay? Uh, <clears throat> some of us aren't even people, in case you didn't notice. So, stop pretending that you're special. Stop acting like you're freaking somebody. And uh, get over it. You made the choice, so live with it. Or die with it. Do whatever. Just stay away from me and quit trying to tell me what to do or what to think, okay? It's all